Sup, y'all. So, if you guys didn't know, in the undercard of Jaime Munguia versus Doriano Johnson, Marlene Esparza fought against Sulem Urbina. Um, yeah, the fight was scheduled for eight rounds. It went the whole eight rounds. And uh, Esparza won the fight by unanimous decision, with all three judges having it in her favor. 80-72, 78-74, 80-72. Um, yeah, it was a good fight. It was a pre- actually a pretty action-packed fight. Um, Arlene Esparza improves to 8-1. and one, one win come by way of Nakar TKO. Uh, I thought she barely won this fight, to be honest. I thought the judges scoring it the way they did was a little too wide with two judges giving every single round. Two judges gave every single round to Marlene Esparza. I thought... Uh, Sulem Urbina won at least two, three rounds, but you know it is what it is. It, it was a close, competitive fight. Uh, Urbina, Sulem Urbina suffers her first loss. Uh, she's now currently twelve and one, two wins come by way of knockout TKO, sec- first loss in her professional career. But y- you can argue this fight was a draw. To be honest, I thought y- it was that close. I don't know. I mean, I was at work, so I wasn't really, you know, 100% fully paying attention to it. But I thought it was a close fight. I honestly thought it was a close fight. But it was a good action-packed fight. You can watch it on the zone. Just go to the zone website and you can watch it. Um, and as you guys can see, the final final punch stats, uh, a lot of the power punches, uh, Urbina was able to land. 112 to 99. And... Um, you know, I just thought that the fight was definitely a lot closer, closer than what the judges had. Like that, that eighty seventy two is just ridiculous. Uh, at the very least, or being a one one round. I mean, come on, come on. It is what it is. I guess. I mean, Esparza is the main attraction. Uh, she is the former Olympian. She's the one that they're trying to, uh, put out there and market for Golden Boy promotions. She's actually she came off a loss, her first loss against uh, Estrada back in November of last year. I remember that fight um, for the interim WBA title, and she ended up losing by technical decision. Uh, she blames the 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 cut apparently because that affected her fight her fighting, but uh, you know Estrada, in my opinion, definitely gave it to her. I wonder how is Estrada doing actually? What's she doing these days? She recently fought in July. And she won. Yeah. Good for her. Good for her. So, so yeah, again, if you want to watch the full fight, go to The Zone. You can watch the whole entire fight there. All eight rounds. Uh, The Zone did post up some clips here and there. There's this very nice exchange between the two right here of them just letting their hands go, man. I mean, look at that. Look at that, man. There's good stuff from both Esparza and Orbina. It's just unfortunate that the the judges had it very wide. It's, it's ridiculous, ridiculous. Yeah, I I honestly think you can argue that this was a draw. You can make that argument. I mean, Esparza, if you had to pick the winner, definitely Esparza. Esparza is the fighter that um, wins this fight. If you had to pick the winner, but uh, that that those scorecards are just way too wide for my comfort, in my opinion. But it is what it is. Uh, good job to both fighters on a good fight. And uh, and yeah, if you did see the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comment section below. Oh, and when it comes to what's next, I believe Esparza wants a rematch against Estrada. She might actually get it. She might get it maybe next year, 2021. As for Rubina, back to a drawing board for her. Uh, I'm sure she'll bounce back from this. She's 30 years old now, so I'm sure she'll be back. Um... And she's actually pretty good, man. And she had really good moments in this fight. So uh, I'm sure she'll bounce back. So, so yeah, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comment section below. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you haven't yet. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Please, and like always, have a great day. All right, thanks.